In the last seven days, I ran 245 miles. Mile 15. Mile 30. You gotta smile through the pain. That's how you gotta do it. My foot is in pain. Mile 100, y'all. Mile 100! Mile 185, guys. I am, I'm in a little bit of pain. Right now, it feels like it's so out of reach because we're so mentally tired and physically. The subway system length in New York City is about 245 miles. When I started this challenge, I wanted to see how quickly I could do it. I wanted to do it in 10 days or less. At the time when I started, it was around George Floyd's death and I wanted to do something that could shine light upon individuals who we lost to racial injustice. Three, two, one, we have a lift off, let's go. Going fast is not the factor. It's about covering miles. That's what it's about. Mile five, we are just getting started. Mile five. It took me 35 miles a day to complete 245 miles in seven days. I dedicated each one of those runs to a man, woman, or child that we lost. George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Freddie Gray, John Crawford III, Trayvon Martin, and Sandra Bland. We gotta stick together, no matter what. Does not matter what color your skin is. All right, let's get it. Mile 20, baby, mile 20. I got to learn each of their stories through the words of people that they were closest to, and I was able to donate to a cause that aligned with each of their stories. For me, the biggest challenges during this run were more mental than anything. See, I, I feel like I look miserable too, right? It's the sun, the sun is killing me. Of course, I picked out the hottest week of the year to do this. I had to get up really early in order to get most of the run in by 11 and do the rest in the evening. But it got to a point that I had to sleep in because I needed more rest and then I had to pay for it because it was very hot. Today was a late one. We usually leave at five in the morning. Right now it's almost nine. I was so tired I had to sleep in, but it's gonna be a late one today, but we gotta get it in. It is hot. Look at me right now. The heat and the humidity, I'm losing a lot of water. Just for safety reason, um, I'm trying to see if I can get access to a treadmill. So blessed and grateful to be able to have access to a treadmill, because it's hot, it's hot out there. It's hot. I occupied my mind during this run with self-talk. We completed 26.5 and then we're at 35 miles for the day and we call it a day and we get out tomorrow and we get after it. Let's get it, let's go. I literally had to tell myself, it could always be worse, Hella. There's people who have it worse than you right now. People are going through so much more pain than you. And of course I had to listen to some music. Don't stop, hey, don't stop. But when it came down to it, it was Hella. Life could be really rough. And what you're doing right now cannot compare to what some people have been going through or have gone through. And I have the ability to run and use that ability to put light on something that we needed to talk about, we needed to figure out and have a solution for. So that was in the back of my head. You're doing this for something that's bigger than you. So that kept me positive the whole time. Um, this is very important right now. I feel like uh, this is something that we need to talk about. And uh, in order for all lives to matter, black lives have to matter. So that's what it is. And it's all about positivity. It's all about love and caring for one, one another. It's not about hate. So remember we're one and we're in this together, all right? The fact that we're all coming together as one is really bringing that positive energy that we all needed to know that, you know what, we'll overcome this. So that also kept me very positive the whole time because I know we're gonna make change together. Mile 155, mile 155, and this beautiful rain. My nutrition during the week was bagels. I ate bagels and a bagels and a bagels like it was my job. Just bagels, cream cheese, peanut butter and jelly, rice, avocado, impossible meat, all that stuff. They get my leg going every day. I had to make sure that I was getting hydrated. I was drinking a lot more electrolytes than drinking actual water because I sweat a lot. And I was having energy gels. I was having protein shake to make sure that my muscles were recuperating and recovering. I do gotta say recovery is key. Every time I got home, I was hanging my leg up, I was foam rolling, I was using my massage gun. I did anything to make sure that I was taking care of my body every moment I got. What's up guys? Whatever you want to do in life, you can't just sit down on the couch. You gotta dig in. You gotta get up. I, I feel free. Guess what's happening to my shoes already, guys? I don't heel strike, but I drag my foot when I'm going slow. So, and it's only been two days. Running slow is much harder, but you 
run fast, you won't last long. Yeah. My beautiful people, this is the best feeling ever. We're on the last mile of this challenge. The feeling after the final mile was unreal because it just hit me. I just ran 245 miles in seven days. It all started with just self-belief. We're not done yet. And we did this for much bigger than just a challenge for myself. At the end of the day, you know you can believe in yourself, but till you put it to the test, you always have this little doubt in the back of your head. It feels like it's so out of reach. But the fact that when I completed that last mile, that little doubt was like gone. And it made me realize that you really can do anything with the right mindset. Ah, let's go. Mile 245. Done. Mile 245, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Ah, we did it. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. 